Taking the first step is dramatic and exciting. Most of us don't remember when we took literally the first step as we were learning how to walk. But our parents, most of the time, they do and they remember it very fondly. It is such a big difference in the development of a child before being able only to crawl and after very rapidly absorbing all kinds of new uh, faculties and abilities through the uh, increased opportunity of exploring and experimenting in the world that comes with the ability to walk. But taking the first step is also important in any endeavor. Because, quite obviously, any objective you have in front of you can only start if you start. And if you do not start, you will never reach your goal. Taking the first step is also something that astonishingly so many people do not complete. Well, they don't even start moving their leg, let alone taking the first and the second and the third and how many steps may be required. Too many people feel paralyzed and at the same time complain about opportunities that they don't have. But they don't expose themselves. They don't start on the journey. Many times because they are afraid of failure or they are afraid of the new unexpected things they will discover. They are afraid of what they will learn about themselves on the journey towards the unknown. And even worse, a lot of those people who do not take the first step feel completely empowered and justified in pointing the finger towards those who do expose themselves to failure, who do want to experiment, who are dreaming things that are difficult and uncertain and dangerous and sometimes even impossible. And they tell them what they should or shouldn't be doing. They tell them that they should be more passive, less uh, risk-taking, less adventurous, that they shouldn't dare, that they should just stay put like themselves. Don't be one of those people. And if you watch the context, the probability that you are instead a proactive, self-driven person who is desirous and able to go on the trajectory of your life as you design it is so much more likely and more fun. There are examples everywhere. The first step that will be required in order to establish a colony on the Moon and on Mars. The first step that is required to uh, open a, a cryptocurrency wallet, buy a fraction of Bitcoin, send it to someone or receive it from someone and be part of this uh, experimentation that blockchain represents. The first step that is required to put yourself out uh, there and let people uh, understand what you think about a given topic. Um, just uh, writing it on a blog or uh, sharing it on video without hiding behind the excuse that your thoughts are not uh, important enough and no one would be interested. The excuses are plentiful and everyone can claim to have the right kind of excuse in order not to take the first step. A friend of mine, Massimo Curatella, just yesterday launched a cool provocation 
to another friend of mine and a member of my team, Emil, telling him, all right, so if you want to do something, here is your first exercise. Write down a hundred ideas. When are you going to uh, be done with it? And Emil responded, I will be done in a week. So Massimo countered, no, I want it by tonight. So I haven't checked because this happened just yesterday, but Emil actually sat down and started writing ideas. And I don't know what they are. And of course, it doesn't matter what they are. What matters is taking the first step and then uh, the exercise, the consistency and the quality, very importantly, will come. Now, of course, uh, no one knows at the beginning where their talents are and where their passions are and what is the very important overlap in this Venn diagram of creativity and ability uh, and even going further uh, what others are uh, interested in and uh, what others are ready to pay for but it is absolutely okay at the beginning it is impossible to know. And these wonderful overlapping uh, representations of uh, where is your ikigai, the intersection of uh, all these conditions, are uh, itself a trap. Because they can represent an excuse again. Oh, I didn't start because I didn't, found, uh, didn't find the center of all these things. I, I couldn't guarantee uh, success uh, before even taking the first step. The last example that I want to make is a wonderful one just recently. But it is a journey started more than 10 years ago. And I am referring to the incredible, astonishing, crazy sale of a JPEG, an image, a digital image, which itself is a collage of 5,000 digital images, but at the end, it is a large, large digital image for $69 million by the uh, auction house Christie's on behalf of the artist called Beeple. And you will say, oh, it is stupid it is a craze it is just uh, money laundering as all of art collections uh, and uh, why why would you say that and isn't it amazing that the artist people started 10 years ago and more without knowing anything about where the journey would lead and he started saying i want to create an image today and then the day after he said i want to create an image today every day for the past 10 years and more he created a new digital image now you can you go on his website and check out um, whether you like them and uh, I personally don't like them very much because they are too uh, uh, gory and um, I'm, I'm easily uh, impressed uh, and, and uh, freaked out by his uh, themes but certainly I admire both the skill and the consistency, the persistence, the resilience uh, and uh, the result not only of this astonishing outcome, but uh, the fact that someone can take the first, the second, the third, and then the step 5,000, where obviously people didn't stop. When the journey is itself valuable, it never ends. 
So as of this recording, Beeple is on the image 5069 and then it will be 5070 and whatever the number is. Sooner or later, Beeple will stop and then the journey will be over. But in the meantime, it was incredible both for him as well as to everyone else who could in various degrees participate. So it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you aspire to do. Just take the first step.